Hey guys, it's Holly. Welcome back. So, tonight I wanted to talk briefly about starting your own YouTube channel and kind of how to do that and maybe why you should do that. So, honestly, in my opinion, I think almost everyone should have a YouTube channel unless you're a super private person um, or unless you just simply don't want to and it's just not something you enjoy, in which case that's perfectly fine. But I think as an expression of ourselves, having something like a YouTube channel, maybe not necessarily a YouTube channel, but something similar, um, I mean, we are all creators. And so why not? And so if you've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I would highly encourage you to just do it. I think what stops a lot of people is they get really nervous um, about being um, seen by a lot of random different people online. I think a lot of people, maybe they just feel like they might not be good at it or they don't know what to talk about or what to share. Well, you can literally share anything that you want to. Um, you do want to kind of have specific types of videos that you do and not necessarily make everything completely random. But in the same point, if it is just kind of like a diary of your life, then why not make everything random? Because that's okay too. So for me, I know there are quite a few of my videos that are quite random as well, but I do generally have certain several different categories that my videos, generally speaking, kind of fall into, but I do recommend it. I think it's great. I've had my YouTube channel for over two and a half years now. I don't have a ton of subscribers. I think I've got maybe like 600 and it's been slow growing. I'm not going to lie. Um, however, I have also... Uh, more than doubled my followers just in less than a year. So the more you get, the more you get. But it's not so much about having um, subscribers or followers, whatever you want to call it. It's not about, you know, how many likes are you going to get or how many comments are you going to get. So it's just about your imprint on the world and what you can share with the world. And we all have such incredibly unique talents. I mean, there are just hundreds thousands of ideas that you can make videos on. So I'm a type of person, I am good at sharing things, and I feel like I do a pretty decent job. I don't have any fancy equipment. I do have a microphone, but I don't really use it because it more so just kind of gets in my way, quite frankly, and it just doesn't work that great, so I don't use it. I usually will just use my phone or my laptop or occasionally a tablet. Um, I've used different types of phones, and yeah, I just don't, I don't have anything fancy and um, you really don't need it. I do have like a mini tripod selfie stick, but I think I've used it like one time. So there's no need to go out and purchase anything. Um, you know, if you end up getting a super big following, then maybe that would be a different story. You might want to invest in some different uh, types of cameras and some higher quality things of that nature and for me personally if I ever do um you know get to a point where I have a huge following then absolutely I will upgrade my equipment but for now I don't see myself being anywhere near that point um if I ever get monetized which I'm sure I will eventually um at that point I would kind of like slowly start upgrading a little bit here and there but for the most part, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. If you don't want to buy any equipment, you don't have to. If you don't want to, you know, you only share what you want to share. And you can turn your comments off. <laughs> and um, I highly recommend that, especially, you know, at first, if you are getting like spam. I know for me, I was getting quite a few spam comments. What I do with my comment section is I just... I, when I go to my YouTube studio, which you want to use that to edit your videos, um, I don't do a ton of editing, but I do use the YouTube studio and occasionally I might use, you know, an app like I've used my movie and I've tried Canva, but it didn't really work for me. So there are apps out there. Obviously, a lot of YouTubers put way more time and energy into editing, but you absolutely do not have to. I don't put hardly any time into editing. I mean, I do, but it's it's very, very little because I just simply don't have the time for that. But no matter how busy you are, I'm a single mom of two. I homeschool. I work. I do all these things. But I still have time for a YouTube channel because it really does not take 
a whole lot of energy. Now it can. And for many YouTubers, it does. They make it like a completely full-time thing. But I've always believed that sometimes it's just consistency and just taking, you know, a small chunk out of your day, even if it's five minutes or less, which is what I do for the most part. You know, that small little chunk that you're staying consistent with and putting out the best of you that you possibly can, that is worth something. And eventually, that's going to get you somewhere. It's about your habits. Now, back to the editing thing. Because um, I kind of got, I was talking about something and then I got off on something else, which I do. And that's okay. Um, you can totally do that. But, so with my comment section, what I do is I just turn it to hold all comments for review. I make it to where people can still comment, but you have to, like, YouTube holds all the comments for my review. So before they're posted, I review them. I've only ever had one bad comment other than spam comments, and it was some guy, I think it was, like, a couple years back, and he said something like, stop filming videos in your car. Like, it was just so rude. Could have been a lot worse. But all I did was I just deleted it. I didn't reply. I just simply deleted it. And so if anyone leaves crappy comments, that's all you gotta do. You can block them. You can report it to YouTube. So, but in the two and a half years I've had this channel, all the videos I've made, um, I've posted some controversial things as well. And that's the only bad comment I've ever truly gotten. So honestly, I mean, it's worth a shot. Just go for it. Because... We have so many creator tools that you can regulate and you can promote and you can just do things how you want because you are a creator. We all are. And so to start your YouTube channel, again, I think it's a great idea if it's something that you want to do and just go on YouTube, you know, sign up, start making videos. And literally it's, it's so much easier than people think. Um, and it's, it's so much more fun than what people think. You don't have to view it as, you know, such a, a work thing. Because really that's what life is about is, and what life should be about, is making money on your own terms, living your life, thriving, and just putting your best out into the world and thriving with that. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.